Do you know what narcissists absolutely hate? We've all encountered narcissists at some point in our lives. They are characterized by their grandiosity, entitlement, and a lack of empathy that can be both baffling and damaging to those around them. Understanding them and knowing how to deal with them is crucial, especially if you find yourself in close proximity to one. Narcissists have a unique psychological makeup that can make them challenging to interact with, but it can also make them particularly susceptible to certain behaviours and attitudes. Now, we're not talking about seeking revenge or causing harm. Rather, we're focusing on behaviours that prioritise your own well-being and disrupt the narcissist's manipulative patterns. It's about standing up for yourself, asserting your boundaries, and not letting them have control over your emotional state. Today we will discuss five things you do that narcissists absolutely hate. So let's dive in and explore these empowering strategies. The first thing that narcissists hate is setting healthy boundaries. This is a vital step for anyone who finds themselves entangled with a narcissist. Now narcissists are known to thrive in ambiguity, using it as a tool for manipulation. But what happens when you establish clear boundaries around your time, your energy and emotional availability? It's like a direct challenge to their control, and they absolutely hate it. It could be as straightforward as saying no to unreasonable demands, refusing to indulge in their dramas, or simply prioritising your own needs. Asserting these boundaries with confidence can be deeply frustrating for a narcissist. It's like you're taking away their power, their control, and they don't like that one bit. So remember, setting boundaries is not just about saying no, it's about reclaiming your power and standing your ground. It's about asserting your rights and your space. Establishing clear boundaries can feel like a direct challenge to their control. The second thing that narcissists hate is being held accountable. These individuals are often experts in dodging responsibility, rarely accepting blame for their actions or acknowledging their mistakes. Their self-image is delicately built on a foundation of denial and deflection, making it easy for them to shrug off criticism. However, when we confront them about their behaviour, whether it's gaslighting, manipulation or broken promises, we disrupt this self-image. The mirror held up to them reflects a reality they are not comfortable with, exposing their vulnerabilities. This forces them to reckon with the consequences of their actions, something they've skillfully avoided for so long. It's important to remember that holding someone accountable is not a personal attack. It's a necessary part of any healthy relationship. Yet, for a narcissist, who's built an armour of denial and deflection, this accountability can feel like a personal attack. The third thing that narcissists detest is emotional independence. Narcissists, you see, are emotional leeches. They feed off the emotional reactions of others, craving attention, be it positive or negative. They are experts at pushing buttons, at provoking reactions, all in a bid to fuel their own egos. But what happens when you refuse to play their game? What happens when you cultivate your own emotional stability? This, my friends, can be a game changer. By expressing your feelings authentically, by refusing to let their words or actions dictate your emotional state, you strip them of their power. You become like a mirror, reflecting their tactics back at them without absorbing any of the negativity. This can be incredibly frustrating for them. It's like trying to draw blood from a stone. By not giving them emotional power over you, you deny them their desired source of fuel. The fourth thing that narcissists hate is authenticity. Yes, authenticity. It's the brave act of living true to who you are, with no pretense, no facade. Narcissists often project their own insecurities and limitations onto others, creating a distorted mirror that reflects not who we really are, but who they want us to be. But when we choose to live and express our authentic selves, it disrupts their carefully constructed narratives. Whether it's pursuing our passions, celebrating our uniqueness, or unapologetically embracing our quirks, our authenticity can be a powerful challenge to their control. It's like shining a light in a dark room, illuminating the corners they'd rather keep hidden. It threatens their self-image and their sense of control, and it can leave them feeling threatened. Living your truth can highlight their own lack of genuine self-expression. The fifth and final thing that narcissists hate is when you walk away without explanation. Now this doesn't mean you're running away or avoiding confrontation, it's about making a choice for your own well-being. Narcissists thrive on the power to manipulate and control. They want to keep you in their web of deceit and confusion. But when you decide to simply leave, 
without offering them any justification, it can be a powerful blow. It's like taking away their chessboard in the middle of the game. They're left disoriented, without any pieces to move, without any strategies to deploy. They're left powerless. This act of walking away is not about them, it's about you. It's about reclaiming your life and your freedom from their toxic influence. It's about choosing peace over drama and self-respect over appeasement. Remember, it's not about winning or losing, it's about choosing yourself. Walking away leaves them with nothing to control. To summarize, the five things that narcissists hate are setting healthy boundaries, holding them accountable, maintaining emotional independence, living authentically, and walking away without explanation. These actions challenge their control, disrupt their self-image, deny them their desired emotional power, highlight their own insecurities, and remove their ability to manipulate. It's crucial to remember that these are not tactics to get back at a narcissist, but rather strategies to protect yourself and build a healthier life. It's about asserting your own needs, standing firm in your truth, and refusing to let them dictate your emotional state or limit your self-expression. In some cases, the most powerful response is simply to remove yourself from their sphere of influence, without feeling the need to justify your reasons. If you ever feel emotionally abused or manipulated, seek professional help. Remember, the best revenge is living well and demonstrating that you're not under their control.